So let's talk about the Oxford Foundry at the University of Oxford in the United Kingdom uh, uh, having a warm handshake with FMDQ Private Markets Limited, which is uh, uh, one of the arm of uh, FMDQ uh, Group PLC. They launched a global partnership to accelerate the growth of Nigeria's startups ecosystem and nurture a future generation of young Nigerian leaders in entrepreneurship through knowledge, exchange, and collaboration. Giving us more facts behind this global handshake is Cody Ugoje. She is the uh, group CEO at FMDQ Group. Great to have you in this evening, Cody. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you, Boston. And that's Group COO, please. Yes, Group C, yes. Group CEO, I beg your pardon, sorry, Group Chief Operation Officer. I got to get a query for giving that title to you. But again, you're heading in that direction somewhat. Don't worry. That's a conversation. But let's just talk about this uh, private markets limited and Oxford Foundry. Uh, tell me about this partnership in the main. Okay, um, thank you, Boson. Um, so, FMDQ Private Markets is the newest arm. Um, subsidiary of FMDQ and of FMDQ Group, where we already have FMDQ Exchange, FMDQ Clare, and FMDQ Depository across the capital market. Um, FMDQ Private Market was uh, incorporated to, to um, cater to the one other sector that we felt um, was underserved, and that is the private companies. And when we look at the private companies, we see that in order for us to um, grow and develop in Nigeria like we would like to, we would need a lot of private companies to, you know, come into the, the spheres of power, infrastructure, and things like that. And we felt that we need to ensure, firstly, that these private companies have access to the capital market so that they can raise capital to, um, to embark on some of these developmental projects. Um, but speaking in, in early this year, um, the Central Bank of Nigeria um, gave its recognition to FMDQ private markets as a platform for private companies' um, securities. And that pretty much means that the pension fund administrators now have access to this market because it's under the, um, it's under the governance of a, a, a regulator. And this gives them access to, you know, diverse, diverse and, you know, more profitable investments to invest their pensions in. And um, when we speak to this, um, when we speak to this partnership specifically, um, what we're looking to do is to bring in um, the startups, the young um, startup companies, young Nigerians that are looking to embark, you know, on a journey towards building a, a, a business. Now, if I just take a step back to FMDQ private markets, FMD private market caters to three segments in the market. We have the cradle board, which is for the very young um, boarding companies, less than 50 million in, 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 um, in, in size and just looking to set up and, uh, you know, to grow. We have the, the growth board for the medium sized, and then we have the um, main board for the big and you know the large size um, entity so we'll focus a bit here on the startups and that's really what this partnership is about oxford foundry is the entrepreneurship um center for oxford university of oxford and they have pretty much they have an accelerated program called elevate that they currently run which um has seen you know 32 venture um, companies set up, funded, and have grown to over 150 million pounds in value now. So basically, they have nurtured this company from set up, from from when they were set up, and they have provided with them with you know the necessary, um, the necessary skills, you know the mentorship and the structure that they require to access capital and grow. Um, Oxford Foundry was um, set up about just under four years ago um, by top top entrepreneurs um, in the in the market. So obviously, this is something that is well is very is seasoned. Um, obviously, as well, um, looking at the networks of the University of Oxford, 
we can tell that um, there's a lot to benefit from this partnership in terms of expertise, in terms of networks, in terms of the um, the curriculum development for some of the programs that FMDQ Private Markets and Oxford Foundry will embark on. Okay, so, um, so that's really the. So, scope in terms of what of you will. Uh, Cody, just a quick one. In, in terms of what the uh, partnership and the bespoke programs under this partnership will be, uh, who gets what if mm -hmm. I have this small business below 50 million? Am I off to the UK? Um, am I getting some pounds sterling uh, uh, in, in, in my dorm account? How, how will it work? Um, okay, so really, the program will be implemented in three phases. You have the upskill, which is where these young um, ent these entrepreneurs and this startup and young business leaders would um, come in and be trained. Um, they were giving them the basic trainings required to run a company and, and you know to have a sustainable company. Then you get to the second stage, which is the grow um, phase. And at this phase, that is where you find shared practices, you know, knowledge transfer from the UK. So because they, they're being exposed to the to the angel investors in the UK. They have access to the knowledge and um, you know experiences of these investors in the UK um, coming here to to show them the ropes on how to run this business. And then you have the last stage, which is the accelerate, which is where a an Oxford FMDQ startup bootcamp is going to be run to basically. It's send, uh, bring this, it's the first of its kind for both Oxford Foundry and FMDQ private markets. And this startup camp um, would bring these entrepreneurs together and groom them and give them the necessary mentorships, networks, and everything that they need to set up their business. What is the aim of all of this? When a company is well structured, when a company has the right um, frameworks in place, the right systems to support it, you would attract capital. So at the end of the day, all of this is being put in place to ensure that these companies can access the capital markets, attract capital, both local and international. And you can see um, how some of these pro um, programs have been successful. Mm. You know, flutter away, pay stack. You've seen how some of them have, yes, exactly. um, have garnered investors from across the world. And that's really what we're trying to yeah. do for young Nigerians to help them, get, give them the exposure exactly. that is required for them to take their business yeah, I know. global. Uh, Cody, Cody Ugoji, Group CEO, uh, FMDQ Group, uh, is never too late to start. So I'll be thinking very seriously about what you talked about. Thank you so much for your time. Uh -huh. And we wish you all the best with a handshake between FMDQ Group and the Oxford University. Thank you so much. We wish you folks all the best.